military weapon becomes tomorrow's peacetime instrument. Plastics will play as large a role in peace as they do in war. Here is a plane containing hundreds of plastic parts. Here another bonded by plastics. This paratrooper floating down to welcome Mother Earth is depending on plastics to get him there safely. His parachute is made of nylon, a plastic. As for plastics in peace, here they are in our homes, augmenting our comforts, serving our needs. And when we take to the open road, we find them again in our car. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Vegetable or mineral? Would you look for them on land or under it? Perhaps they are in the sea. Are they extracted from the air as nitrogen was at Muscle Shoals, now part of the TVA? Or does the sun produce them as it does chlorophyll in plants? Are they a gift of nature? or an invention of man's. And if they are man-made, why bother making them at all unless they improve on nature's handiwork or add to her gifts? The old adage has it that necessity is the mother of invention. Nowhere is this truer than in the field of plastics. <laughs> 